We begin with the latest on the two-day flooding which has wreaked havoc across the twin island republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Heavy rains in the north of the country caused a landslide earlier today. Several houses in southwest Trinidad lost their roofs to gusty winds around midday. My name is Annette and um, my story <laughs> is one of a very interesting one. Back in 2017, I remember that date so clearly. It was September 4th. We, we, the weather just changed. Place just got black. We wasn't even in hurricane season yet or anything like that. And we heard a loud crash. So all of us ran outside and we went to the back. When we looked, is the whole bank from on top. It was sitting on my house. Words can't explain that. It's, you, it have no words to that. You know, when you're working so hard and for so long to build something so comfortable for your family and just, just see it go in a split second like that, it was not a pleasant moment. A disaster is not something that you can predict. It's always an event that when it occurs, it leaves you in shock. It leaves you with a sense of hopelessness. It gives you an unexpected reality. And it leaves families with children in a state of disrepair. I enlisted the services of Habitat for Humanity with their no interest home repair loans from $20,000 to $40,000 to $90,000 and some $250,000. And with the intervention of Habitat and uh, their humane um, call to assist you know, persons uh, during through their disaster program, over 19 families uh, were assisted at the Point Fortinboro to Habitat Schools uh, to provide material to get these families home back up even before the Christmas holiday. I am very happy to be part of the collaboration in terms of Republic Bank's involvement with Habitat for Humanity for our ability to help the community would go a long way. They do one big retaining wall for us. That was awesome. That was pretty awesome. Without them, there is no us, you know, so it is important that we always have these type of collaborations so that they also, they also know that we care about their well-being and their success. To the, the supporters, the people who would, would put in their money not knowing where it's going, right, and who it's benefiting, right? I am here to say thank you. Because without you guys doing this, it wouldn't be possible. 